Hey guys, how are ya? Hope you're doing well. Um, just gotta, I just wanna say something, guys. Um, <clears throat> I wanna talk a bit about the fallacy of American exceptionalism, right? Because this is, I'm not American, but there's this fallacy that gets spread across the world as if America is what is the only country in the world that does everything right and all of the world should look up to them in everything they do because they do there's nothing wrong that's done wrong in America everything is done right okay this is how crazy it is there's a lady an American lady she's a basketball player uh, uh, an African-American lady by the name of I think Griner now she's been arrested in Russia on drug charges she didn't have cocaine it was some weed oil you know I don't know whether she didn't know it was illegal there or whether she was trying to smuggle it into Russia I, I don't know right but the thing is it's just weed oil and apparently she's about to spend 10 years in in a, in, in a Russian prison unless America just does a deal but that's got Americans especially hyped up and start to blame the Russian um, government and everything about how could someone they give her 10 years because of weed oil and, and, and all sorts of other things. Oh, in Russia is this. It's just a terrible place. It's terrible. You know, this is why, this is why everyone wants to come to America because this is the place to be. And when you hear that, people who don't do their research, they believe that stuff, unfortunately. But let me tell you something. There's people in America right now, especially from black communities, who are doing 15 years in prison for having an ounce of weed. An ounce of weed. And they're doing 15 years. No, people don't get upset when they hear that. Because there's this inf misinformation that has happened so much, which is uh, African Americans, this, this is one of the reasons why you gotta create options because this thing has been created has been put in everyone's head including black people themselves as if it's something that's expected you know and how do they do that they put it on tv and the images are repeated over and over and over again you start believing that the only places where crime happens is in black communities you know when black people complain about stuff, about anything, then it's a victim mentality. When people like the Jews complain, all of a sudden, oh, let's even give them land and all that. You see, there's something wrong there. That's one thing. Happens in Russia, it's terrible. Happens in America, no one gives a damn. Okay, here's another thing people like to say. Oh, you see, communism, you look at Cuba, you look at uh, Venezuela, and look at uh, uh, Russia and China, and communism is terrible. See, capitalism is the way to go. Socialism, no, 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 no. People, you have to start thinking, all right? Excuse me, this is one thing I found out. Not everyone in the world thinks like Americans, okay? Not everyone in the world thinks like white people. And white people don't think the same. Actually, I find that a lot of those Scandinavian countries and some Western European countries, they wanted to copy the capitalistic way of doing things in America. But when they stress tested the government, did their research and see how, whether that is important way to do things, it's the best way to go to, to, to rule a country, they found out at some point things starts falling. You know, they realized that it was more important for the government to invest in free health care and free education. Start free proper education at a young age so that people, by the time they get older, you've given them the best education. That's why some of the European countries do so well when it comes like to human index and all that stuff because of that. So it's not just in America. And doesn't mean this slide they like to say you can only make it in America. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. 
if you're meant to make it, you can make it even in the poorest country in the world. If you are just meant to make it. Because you see opportunities where others can't. If you want a job, this is why America struggles to even get people from Scandinavian countries. Because people don't want to leave. They got everything for them. Free healthcare, free education, free daycare. Now, why you want to go to a place where, yeah, you're going to make more money, but you end up paying a lot for it? Doesn't make sense. So America is not exceptional, even in that area. Yes, doesn't mean everything bad is, is the bad is uh, everything is bad in America. Yes, what I'm trying to say is there is no perfect way to govern in this world. Sometimes it's about what people accept. Let's look at um, uh, socialism. Let me tell you something. The only proper capitalistic country in the world is America. All other countries have a bit of socialism in the way. You go to the UK, you go to Australia, you go to all these other places, you find that most of them are free education, free health care. That's a socialistic way of thinking and doing things. So there's nothing wrong with socialism. Also, one of the things I would like you to know, if you're African-American especially, is that the rest of the world is not divided along the lines of Democratic or Republicans. In some parts of the world, there are parties who actually have all the things that the Democrats and the Republicans want, and these parties focus on that and, and establish and, and, and give that to the people. Let me talk of Saudi Arabia, the most underrated country in the world. First of all, it's the only country in the world that has no debt, which is a kingdom, by the way. The only country in the world that doesn't have debt. And one of the countries that actually benefit, benefits, fully benefits from its natural resources, which is oil. Right? But here's the thing. In Saudi Arabia, if you're in America, the Republicans say they want to pay less tax. You know, less government is good. You know? And the Democrats say they want free education. Okay, cool. Free health care. Cool. But when you go to Saudi Arabia, they offer all that. There's no taxation. They offer free education and free health care. One government offering everything that you guys divide about in America. And they do it better probably than most in more, than, than you do it. You know, no one pays tax in Saudi Arabia. It's something all the Western countries and every even poor countries can learn from. How did these guys achieve that? Because they have full control of their natural resources. Which in this case is just oil. That's it. They got no land. They got nothing other, nothing else that's special except for oil. Secondly, oh, communism is such a terrible thing. I don't think capitalism is the way to go. Mm, I don't think so. I think sometimes it's a combination of everything. You know, goods from this side, capitalism, from socialism, from communism, you can pick up some good stuff there too. But you've, you've been, it's been ingrained in your psyche that you are, at the moment you hear communism, all you do is just get scared. It's like, you know, it's like when you see a black person, some people start going that way because it's ingrained in your psyche to just not trust this thing without even taking your time and doing your own research. China, a communist country, is the only country in the history of the world not even capitalistic America. China, in the history of the world, is the only country that has managed to get 800 million people out of poverty. Now, that's a massive achievement. And, it, and I, I don't even care what form of government did that. Whether it, I'll give it the utmost respect it deserves. If you can take 800 million people out of poverty, I don't care whether it's capitalism, communism, so you call it whatever. I don't care. America didn't achieve it with its capitalistic nature. If anything, just like I told you, the European, they stress tested things and they found out there's a point where the government starts failing. That's happening in a capitalist America where the government is starting to fail. You know, the country is divided more than ever before. And the government is not really delivering on its people. The gap between the, the middle class and, and the wealthiest people is just Going, getting wider and wider by the day you know also people like to use Cuba to say you know this is why socialism doesn't work 
But I tell you what, the reason why those Cuba and Venezuela have failed is because of sanctions. Not necessarily because of socialism. It's because of sanctions. They can't trade. Stop using these countries as a way to say, you know, commun so that's what social that's a lie. That means you're lying to yourself. There's a lot of countries in the world that are same socialist and they're prosperous than America in a way. They look after their people. It's not everything just about money, 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 money. Okay? And I would like people to wake up from this, to start thinking about some of these ideologies they put in your head, which is based on a fallacy. You got to start thinking, guys. Think. American exceptionalism is a fallacy. Yes. I tell you what. One thing I'll... I'll give it to America is the availability of venture capital. In that area, they've been extremely good. But I want you to know the exceptionalism of America is a fallacy. And it's about time you guys started doing your research, especially for black people, African Americans. It's time you started thinking about creating options. Because there are places in this world where you can get a better life, a better lifestyle than in America. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.